G'day, this is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Steve, who, wow, what a car. What is it, Steve, our car of the week? This is a 1933 Duesenberg Model J with body by Wayman. And I've always wanted to be able to say it. It's a doozy. <laughs> Let's check it out. Steve, we've been running this show since 2017, and I believe this is the first Duesenberg we've had here. There's only a few left in the world, isn't there? Well, there, there's actually more than you think. There's 380 or so. That's still not uh, many. And they, they made almost 500 cars, not quite. Okay. Almost. And, uh, you know, when they were new, it was 8,500 bucks just for the chassis, and then you had to buy wow. the body. So it's an expensive car. So $8,500 just, just, just for the chassis, for the chassis. and then you had to get the coach builder to actually build the body on it as well. Right, right. That That is absolutely insane. Now, this particular car, you have family history with, correct? Yeah, now my folks bought this car in 1965 uh, in Chicago. Right. And um, what so a gangster car that would have been well, there. <laughs> actually, the original owner was, a, was not a gangster. He was Dan Peterkin, who was the... Uh, Chief executive of Morton Salt in Chicago. Oh, really? A salt yeah. company? Yep. Yeah. So that was, you know, a well known salt company. And it's been, uh, including us, the cars had six owners. That's, that's you know what? And every, every single one of them has clearly looked after it. Now, is this. Yeah. I'm guessing it's probably had a, a paint respray at some point. Oh yeah, no, there's there's been been obviously it's been repainted, the yep. interior was done, a lot of the cosmetics were done back in the sixties. Right. And then we just last year finished up doing the engine rebuild, which was um, quite an undertaking. But it runs really nice now and I've got today is Shakedown Cruise number two. Ah. Shakedown Cruise number one was the Ironstone tour, which we made sixty of the eighty miles of the tour. And so the intervening time was to make, you know, get the gas tank fixed, yep. and fix gauges, just a big list of stuff to, you know, get it back on it, the road. It is really beautiful. Can we have a look under the hood? Because oh, yeah. I want to see that, that magic that you've been working on for, for a while. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's, that's in the days when men could actually work on their own engines. Um, this is a... Yeah. To tell us, I mean, this is so this huge is, capacity. This is huge. It's four, 420 cubic inches. Yep. Dual overhead cam. Wow. Four, four valve per cylinder. So dual um, overhead cam back in these days. Is that, that was a big deal. I mean, this was this was very advanced um, at that time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at the size of the car we it on, yeah. on it. And a, oh, it's just it's just amazing. The distributor sitting out of the top, driving off yeah. of one of the camshafts, I'm guessing. And it's got that, that mechanism there, that is the combination fuel pump and chassis lubricator. Um, so so have, wait, it lubricates its own so chassis? That, that reservoir has has chassis lube oil in it, and it goes down in there, and every, I think it's 75 miles, it'll shoot some oil into the various chassis points. There's all these little oh. tubes that... Um, and, it's that, called a Beezer, Beezer chassis lubricator. What a what a beautiful thing, you know. <laughs> um, as our car of the week winner, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, wow. uh, including a polishing right. sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer, and hot shine foam. <laughs> that is a doozy of a car care kit for a Duesenberg. Steve, thank you for bringing it along, All and right. congratulations on being thank car you. of the week. All right.